What's up? It's me again, I'm back. Today I'm gonna talk about pride. Pride is something that has set, uh, set me back a lot of times in life. Don't be prideful because pride is gonna ruin your life. As an example, when I first started with NoFap and Seamer Attention, I was always counting my days and I was showing off to people how many days I went without doing the deed. For the time being, when it was at that moment, I didn't feel anything, I was just happy of my achievement. When I started getting more deeper into the Bible, I started reading more in the Bible, it says that pride is gonna ruin your life, it's gonna set you back. Because eventually, when the devil sees that you have pride in yourself, he's gonna attack you, he's, he's gonna make you feel so bad when you, as an example, relapse in NoFap. And that's gonna humble you, that's really gonna humble you, because when you're prideful, you're not humble to people. When someone has relapsed, you're just gonna say to them, oh man, why did you relapse? It's, you're so weak and all that stuff, you know? People have always said that to each other because one was on day 200 and he was so prideful and one just relapsed and the guy with 200 streak, with the 200 streak was being mad at the guy that relapsed because he thinks he's weak. When you're not prideful and you are humble and you don't count your streak, that's why people say when you don't count your streak, is when you go far with, with Seamer Attention because you forget about it. You're not being prideful about it. You become humble to people. You want to help people. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't count days because it's gonna create some sense of a pride inside yourself and you really don't want that because when you eventually relapse, because it's gonna happen, we are sinners. God humbled you. He showed you that the pride is worthless. It also happened to me. I was around a few months. I didn't, I, I don't count as you know, I don't count, but I know that I was a few months in and then I relapsed and I was really feeling bad that day. That's just pure because of pride. That's pride, man. You are gonna get humbled eventually. So don't be prideful when you're doing no hemisema retention. Keep God by your side. Always pray. When you get an urge, pray, pray, pray. Be a prayer warrior and life's gonna be good for you. Reading the Bible has helped me tremendously when being on semen retention. And I've been on semen retention for three years now. Of course, I failed a few times, but fall seven times, get up eight. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.